Praise the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise his holy name. This is the day that the Lord has made. We're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Today is our prayer platform day. Today we have come to stand on the promises of God and speak to our Father. You know, it's so amazing when Jesus was speaking to his disciples when they asked him how to, to when they asked him to teach them how to pray. He began by saying, Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. And they were shocked. They were shocked because that's not what they expected him to <laughs> to teach them. They expected him to begin with a prayer like God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob, <laughs> God of Moses, God of Elijah. But he simply said, when you pray, say, Father, our Father in heaven. Father in heaven. And that's what we have come to do. We have come to speak to our God as our Father. When we come into prayer, bless his holy name, we speak to our God as our Father. <laughs> Once again, it's amazing. They were, they were surprised that he didn't begin with God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob. He simply said, our Father, who is in heaven? And that's what we come to do today. We have come to speak to our Father. You are welcome to K Kampala Bible Revelation Church prayer platform. And you can send a link, as I always tell you, to send a link to a friend. To Who knows? A miracle may take place today. I believe in miracles. I believe that as we pray, the power of God gets into action, sinks into action. I believe that as we pray and stand on his promises, God fulfills his promises. You know, he doesn't really fulfill our prayers per se. He fulfills his promises. He's committed to his promises. And today, we are believing God that we are covered in Christ. Covered in Christ. Because last Sunday, this last Sunday, the Lord opened our eyes to see that we have a garment on us. And this garment is called Christ. We have put on Christ. That is shocking. That is awesome. That is glorious to know that I'm putting on Christ. By the way, from the day I got born again, from the day I got born again, I put on Christ, the anointed one with his anointing. So today we, we have come to believe God because we are covered in the anointed one and his anointing. And the first scripture, go with me to, oh, the first promise. The first promise we are going to stand on is in Colossians chapter 3, verse 3. Colossians chapter 3 and verse 3. You must be ready for your healing. You must be ready for your miracle. You must be ready for your breakthrough. You must be ready for good news. Good news is surely coming your way. Praise his holy name. Colossians 3, 3 says, for you are dead. What good news? <laughs> Death to us is good news. For you are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. Wow. You are dead. <laughs> and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. So I've come to speak to my father. To tell him, Father, I believe that I am dead, and I believe that my life... Can you imagine? That's a mystery. It's, a, it's like a paradox. I am dead and uh, my life is hidden with Christ in God. So, Father, I've come before you. I am so excited about it. I believe it. And I've come to speak to the situation around me. I've come to speak to the situation around me. I've come to speak to the things that I see with my eyes. I've come to declare that I am hidden with Christ in God. I am hidden with Christ in God. I am covered. More than covering, I am hidden with Christ in God. So whatever, all these debts which are around me, all these things which appear like failure in my life, all these things which appear like shortcomings in my life, I've come to declare. Oh, come on, speak to that sickness. Tell you sickness, I am hidden with Christ in God. You debts, I am hidden with Christ in God. You witchcraft, I am hidden with Christ in God. You bad dreams, I am hidden with Christ in God. You conflicts, I am hidden with Christ in God. Oh, come on, tell the Lord. Tell the Lord, this is, this is more than exciting. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Say it again. I'm hidden with Christ in God. I am hidden with Christ and I'm hidden in God. Because that's what it means. I am hidden with Christ in God. I am hidden with Christ and Christ is hidden in God. I am hidden with Christ and hidden in God. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. So every sickness, I cast it in the name of Jesus. I cast everything that has been going against the truth that I know. I cast every failure in my life. I cast everything that stands in my way. Everything that holds back what I believe. I cast it right now. Why? Because I am hidden with Christ in God. I am dead. <laughs> and my life is hidden with Christ in God. I am dead and my life is hidden with God. But I am dead so I can't die again. So death, I cast you. You are a lie. You are a lie. Death, you are a lie. Because I'm already dead. I can't die again. You are a lie. So I cast every thought of death out of my life. I cast every scheme of death in my life. I cast it. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Because I'm hidden with Christ in God. Because I'm hidden with Christ in God and I believe it. So right now I receive my healing. Right now I receive my peace. Right now I receive my joy. Because I'm hidden with Christ in God. I'm hidden with Christ in God. I'm hidden with Christ in God. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Don't just stay there and stare at me. Begin to speak to the Lord. Lord, I'm grateful and I'm thankful and I'm happy and I'm excited about it because I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe I'm hidden with Christ. I believe that I'm hidden with Christ in God. I believe that I'm hidden with Christ in God. So you cannot find me. So death, you cannot find me. Sickness, you cannot find me. Failure, you cannot find me. Accidents, you cannot find me. Witchcraft, you cannot find me because I am dead and my life is hidden hidden with Christ in God. I believe it. I believe that my life is hidden with Christ in God. I believe that my life is hidden with Christ in God. Go ahead and tell the Lord about it. I know, Lord, you're fulfilling this, this promise today in my life that, I, that I'm dead and my life is hidden with Christ in God. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. So I'm sure of my tomorrow. Because my tomorrow is hidden with Christ in God. I'm sure of my business. Because my business is hidden with Christ in God. I'm sure of my academics. Because my academics are hidden with Christ in God. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Begin to cast that situation. Begin to command those chains to break. Begin to tell that situation to turn around. Begin to tell that mountain move. You mountain of perfect. But I command you to move because I am hidden with Christ in God. So I command you mountain to move. I am covered in Christ. I am covered with, in the anointed one with his anointing. I'm covered in the anointed one uh, with his anointing. So I speak to the mountains to begin to move. I command the valleys to fill up. Every valley of the shadow of death. I curse you in the name of Jesus. And I command you to fill up every crooked place. Let it be made straight right now. Let the glory of the Lord be revealed. Let, because I'm covered in Christ. Let the glory of the Lord be revealed in my life. Because my life is hidden in, with Christ in God. Let the glory of the Lord be revealed. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you the praise. We give you the praise. We give, I wish we could stand on this promise more and more. We give you the praise, Lord Jesus. It's awesome. It is awesome. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, King of Kings. We bless your name. We worship your name. Lord Jesus, we bless your name. Now, let's go quickly to Galatians. Galatians chapter 2 and verse 20. You can record these promises. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Galatians chapter 2 and verse 20. Paul said again that I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. He was not saying this because he was an apostle. He was saying this from the point of the born again. Every born again has been crucified with Christ. Every born again lives. Yet not that born again, but Christ lives in me. 
I am covered in Christ. Go ahead and tell the Lord, Lord, I'm grateful that I'm crucified. With. In other words, I'm living a crucified life with Christ. I'm living a crucified life with Christ. I'm living a crucified life with Christ. I am living a crucified life with Christ. You cannot crucify it again. You cannot punish it again. You cannot shoot it. At, you cannot shoot it. There's nothing you can do about it because I'm living a crucified life with Christ. Oh, bless me. I'm crucified with Christ and Christ lives in me. I'm crucified with Christ and Christ lives in me. I'm crucified with Christ and Christ lives in me. They shall see it at my workplace. They shall see that I'm crucified with Christ and they shall see that Christ lives in me. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. It's about to happen in my marriage. It's about to happen in my family. It's about to happen in my academics. I'm crucified with Christ. I believe that I'm crucified with Christ. I believe that I'm crucified with Christ. And Christ lives in me. They're about to see Christ that lives in me. They're about to see Christ who lives in me. They're about witchcraft you are, you are about to see the Christ who lives in me. You failure, you're about to see the Christ who lives in me. You poverty, you're about to see the Christ who lives in me. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Tell the Lord, I'm, I believe I'm crucified with Christ. I, so sickness cannot crucify me. Poverty cannot crucify me. Death cannot crucify me because I'm already crucified with Christ. <laughs> Oh, bless the Lord. Yet I live, yet not I, but Christ oh, lives in me. And the life that I live now in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loves me, uh, who loved me and gave himself for me. That's why I command all fear to live my life right now. I will not die. I will live to tell the wonders of the Lord. I'll, my business will not fail. It's going to prosper. I'm stepping in places I've never stepped before because it's Christ who is living in me. I'm stepping in higher places I've never stepped in because it's Christ that's living in me. I'm going forward from this day because it's Christ that's living in me. It's Christ that lives in me. It is Christ, tell the Lord, it is Christ that lives in me. It is Christ that lives in me. Tell the Lord, it's Christ that lives in me. Because it is Christ that lives in me, I refuse to fear. Because it's Christ that lives in me, I refuse to fear. Because it's Christ that lives in me, I refuse to fear. I refuse to fear. I refuse every threat of every man. I refuse every, every spell of every man. I refuse every form of witchcraft because Christ lives in me. Tell the Lord, Christ lives in me. Witchcraft has no power over me. Christ lives in me. Witchcraft has no power over me. Christ lives in me. The words of men can have nothing to do with me. Whoever has cast me, Lord, I just bless them. Whoever has cast me, I just bless, I just bless them. Whoever has cast my, my, my family, I just bless them. Whoever ca has cast my business, I just bless them because I know I am crucified with Christ. I am crucified with Christ. I am covered in the crucified Christ. Woo, I am covered in the crucified Christ. I am covered in the crucified. He lives in me. Tell the Lord, I believe Christ lives in me. I believe Christ lives. It is not sickness that lives in me. It is not failure that lives in me. It is not witchcraft that lives in me. It, it is not a demon that lives in me. It is Christ living in me. Christ living in me. Christ living in me. It is Christ living in me. It is Christ. Go ahead and tell the Lord. And the life that I live now in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God. Oh, Lord Jesus, I thank you. Lord Jesus, I thank you. I thank you. I believe that things are happening. I believe that things which, are, which I, have never, I have no idea about are happening right now. I believe that breakthroughs that I have no idea about, that I have no clue about, that I have no strength to do on my own. I believe I'm touching something I've never, I'm touching something good I've never touched before. I believe good news is coming my way. I believe that good news is coming my way. I believe that good news is coming my way. I believe that good news is coming my way. I believe that good news is coming my way. I believe that good news is coming my, my way. I believe that good news is coming my way. Father, we bless your name. Father, we worship your name. Father, we exalt your name. I am crucified with Christ. I am crucified with Christ. I am crucified with Christ. I live a crucified life. I live a crucified life. I'm crucified with Christ and Christ lives in me. Christ lives in me. Christ lives in me. Real life lives in me. 
I have the life. I, I have the crucified life of Christ. I have the crucified life of Christ. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. I bless your name, oh Lord Jesus. I bless your name, oh. Please go ahead. I wish we could stand on this promise more and more. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Something, something just beginning to roll somewhere for your sake. Things are beginning to roll somewhere. The, the, there are papers which are beginning to go into offices. For your sake, there the, 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 the are people who, are, who, who, who will not rest until you are lifted up high. There the, the are things that God is bringing into memory of some people who are concerned with your well-being. Oh, bless the name of God. Come on, go ahead and tell them, I am crucified with Christ. I am crucified with Christ. Oh, bless the name of Bless the name of Jesus. Let's go to Romans chapter 6. Romans chapter 6. By the way, after this prayer platform, you can always go back and go through those promises again and stand on those promises again as long as you feel it in your heart that you have to go, you know, over and over and over, over those promises. Romans chapter 6 and verse 4. Therefore, <laughs> we are buried with Christ by baptism into death that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father even so we also should walk in the newness of life we are buried with Christ by baptism unto death buried with Christ Buried with Christ. I'm glad I'm buried with Christ. So I'm covered in Christ. Because I'm buried with Christ. I'm covered in Christ. I'm buried with Christ. I'm covered in Christ. I'm buried with Christ. That like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father. Woo! I'm rising up, my goodness. I'm rising up. I'm rising up. I'm rising up right now. I'm leaving the dead behind me. I'm rising up right now. I'm leaving dead situations behind me. I'm rising right now. I'm leaving dead memories behind me. I'm rising right now. Go ahead and tell the Lord, I am buried with Christ. I am buried with Christ. I am buried with Christ. And I am covered in Christ because I'm buried with Christ. And just like he rose, I'm rising to my new levels. I'm rising to my new levels. I'm rising to my new levels. I'm rising to my new breakthroughs. I'm rising to my newnessness. I'm rising to the new me, to the new me, newness of life, newness of life. Whatever is old in your life, I cast it in the name of Jesus. Whatever is old in your life, I cast it in the name of Jesus. Whatever is old in your life, I cast it in the name of Jesus. You too cast it right now, whatever is old, because there's this newness of life. Because I'm buried with Christ. I'm buried with Christ. So I have the newness of life. I have the newness of life. Because I'm buried with Christ. Whatever is old in my life is cast right now. Whatever is old in my life. Whatever is not new in my life, I cast it. Whatever is not new in my life, I cast it. Whatever is not new in my life, I cast it. Whatever is not new in my life, I cast it. Go ahead, do the same. Whatever is not new in your life, I cast it in the name of Jesus. Whatever has been old and troubling you and holding you back and draining your life, I cast it in the name of Jesus. I cast it in the name of Jesus. I cast it in the name of Jesus. Oh, don't keep quiet. Don't keep quiet. Come on, go ahead. You are buried with Christ. I am buried with Christ in baptism. <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus. I am buried with Christ by baptism into death. I am buried with Christ. I am buried. So I'm covered in Christ. So that when he rises, oh, I'm rising together with him. I'm rising together with him. I refuse to think otherwise. I'm thinking of rising with Christ. 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 Go ahead and tell them, I'm thinking of rising. I'm rising with Christ. I'm rising in the newness of life. I'm rising in the newness of life. Newness of business. Newness of life. Newness in my career. Newness in my family. Newness in my marriage. Newness. Everything around me. Newness of life. Everything around me, I decree newness of life. Yes, go ahead. 
Maybe you've been driving in that car for the last 10 years. Newness of life. Newness. Maybe you've lived in that house, oh, for so long. Now it's time for newness of life. Maybe you've had, you know, you've had those clothes for, for all that long. Newness of life. Newness of life. Newness of life. Newness of life. I command newness of life right now. I command newness of life right now. I command new, because I'm buried with Christ. Because I'm buried, oh my goodness, our time is really going. Because I'm buried in, with Christ, I'm buried with Christ, I'm buried with Christ. Oh, come on, go ahead, don't keep quiet. Speak it. There is a way it generates something on your inside that keeps burning. When you say, I'm buried with Christ, so no devil can bury you. I'm buried with Christ, so no human being can bury you. I'm buried with Christ so I can be buried again. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm buried with Christ. I'm buried with Christ. Let's go to, let's go to Ephesians chapter 2. Ephesians chapter 2. Ephesians chapter 2. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And verse 5. Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 5. Don't you think, don't you think this is awesome? This is awesome. Oh, that we are living a buried life. I'm living, a, I'm living a crucified life. I'm living a hidden life, a crucified life, a buried life. <laughs> oh, bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 5. Even when we were dead in sins. Oh, thank you, Lord. Even when we were dead in sins, has he quickened, has quickened us together with Christ. Oh, bless the name. By grace you are saved. And has raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Even when we were dead in sins. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. We are living a life that's free. That's free of sins. We are living. Even when we were dead, he raised us from the dead of sin. He raised us from the death of sin. So we are living a life that is free of death of sin. So, and, and, and what we were quickened together. With, so, I'm living a quickened life with Christ. I'm living a quickened life <laughs> with Christ. I am living a quickened life with Christ. A quickened life. A quickened life with Christ. Because while I was dead, I was raised. I was quickened together with, with Christ. So, I'm living a quickened life. It knows no sin. It's a quickened life. Quickened life, quickened life is what I'm decreeing right now. Whatever is not living in me, whatever is of laziness, whatever is not of life in me, I'm living a quickened life. I decree a quickened life. Go ahead and tell the Lord, I'm living a quickened life. I am living a quickened life. I am living a quickened life with Christ. I'm living a quickened life with Christ. I am living a quickened life with Christ. I'm living and I'm raised with Christ. I am raised. So I'm living a raised life. There's a lot here. I'm, I'm living a raised life and I've been made to sit. I'm living a sitting life with Christ. <laughs> I'm living a quickened life with Christ. I am living a raised life with Christ. I am living a sitting life with Christ. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. 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 I'm living a quickened life. So whatever is not quick in me is cast. Whatever is not quick in me is cast. Whatever is not quick in me is cast. Whatever is not quick in me is cast in the name of Jesus. I'm living a quickened life. I'm living a raised life. Raised life. I'm living a raised life. I am living a raised life. I'm raised with Christ. So I'm living a raised life. I am above all failure. I am a, I'm raised above all death. I'm raised above all witchcraft. I'm raised above all failure. I am raised. I am living a raised life. I am covered in I am covered in Christ. I am covered in a raised Christ. I am covered in a... <laughs> I am sitting with Christ in a raised life. I am, I am living a sitting life. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. You can go ahead. Um, I, I, am living a, I am living a sitting life with Christ. I am living a sitting life with Christ. I am living a resting... That, you know, sitting is resting as well. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. So whatever is not of sitting in my life, 
I cast it out. Whatever is not raised in my life, I throw it down. Whatever is not raised in my life, I throw it down. Whatever is not raised in my life, I throw it down. Whatever is not raised in my life, I throw it down. Whatever is not quick in my life, because I'm living a quickened life with Christ. I'm living a quickened life with Christ. I'm living a quickened life. Whatever is not quick, I cast it out of my life. Oh, bless the Lord. Oh, bless the Lord. Oh, bless the Lord. We bless your name, Lord Jesus. We magnify your name, Lord Jesus. We exalt your name, Lord. We thank you. We glorify you. We magnify you, Lord Jesus. Blessed be your precious name. Blessed be your precious name. Blessed be your precious name. I'm living a quickened life with Christ. I'm living a raised life with Christ. I'm living a sitting life with Christ. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. So you'll be sitting while others are standing. I'll be sitting while others are standing. I'll be sitting while others are standing. I'll be sitting. I'll be traveling, seated while others are walking. I'll be seated in high places while others are standing in low places. I decree it in the name of Jesus. I declare it in the name of Jesus. And I decree it in the name of Jesus. And I declare it in the name of Jesus. I'm living a quickened life with Christ. I'm living a quickened life with Christ. Father, bless you. Father, we worship you. Father, magnify your name. Be exalted, O Lord. Be glorified, O Lord. Be glorified, O Lord. Be glorified, O Lord. So that fear must get out of your way. That fear must get out of your way. Those thoughts of fear must leave you now. In the name of Jesus, I decree your peace. I decree your joy. I decree your prosperity. I decree your connections for you in the name of Jesus so that you'll step in higher places. You're going to be highly favored in places you've never known. You're going to be chosen among the many. You are going to be a leader of others and no man will ever match whatever you touch to do. Lord, we bless your name. Because I'm covered in Christ. Because I'm covered in Christ. I am hidden with Christ in God. I'm hidden with Christ in God. Father, we bless you. Father, we magnify you. Father, we thank you. Come on, go ahead. Give God thanks. Go ahead and give God thanks. Don't look at your situation. Go ahead and give God thanks. Don't look at your situation. Don't look at what is seeable. Look at Christ and his word. And begin to believe. And begin to give thanks. I believe I receive. I believe I receive all these promises. 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 Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name. And everyone said a good amen and amen. Oh, brother, sister, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord again and again. Something good has just happened to your life, to my life, to my family, to your family. To my marriage, to your marriage, to my academics, to your academics, to your business, everything that concerns you, whatever project that, that you have going on, something good has just happened. You know what God is about for? God has fulfilled his promises. He has counted it to us for righteousness. So those promises have been sealed as fulfilled. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So as we go, I just want to remind you, we have our Thursday, our Thursday midweek service. Oh, bless the Lord. Same time. And by the way, even after here, you can send a link to a brother, to a sister, to be on this prayer platform and tell them to be on this prayer platform. Tell them to pray along because the anointing never leaves. The anointing never leaves. It's always there on that prayer platform. So, this Thursday we have our midweek service. Then Sunday we have our services as usual, but in the evening, we shall have the women finance evening where they're going to talk about the the spiritual aspect of finances, the spiritual aspect of money. <laughs> you know that in the Old Testament, the Bible says that money answers all things, but the New Testament doesn't so so. <laughs> the Old Testament says money answers all things, but the New Testament doesn't so so. So they'll be looking at the spiritual aspect of money. The Lord bless you. Those who have been healed, you can let me know, you can give me a call. Uh, those who have received miracles, you can always let me know. The Lord bless you. It, just in case you want, you're on this prayer platform and you want to give your life to Christ, why not? You can say these words after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I believe that you raised Jesus from the dead. 
With my heart I believe to receive righteousness. With my mouth I confess that Jesus is Lord. And with my mouth I confess I am born again. Thank you, Father, for saving me. Now tell him, Father, fill me with your Holy Spirit. Wow. Fill me with your Holy Spirit and teach me to study your word. Thank you for saving me. Amen. My brother, you're not my brother, you're not my sister. If you gave your life to Christ, you're not born again. You are now born again. You can let me know. You can go to my Facebook page and find that phone number and call me. And, you know, and find a Bible-believing church, a Bible-believing pastor. That's very important. The Lord bless you. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever with his marvelous light, forever with his marvelous light, forever with his marvelous light. Amen and amen. God bless you. Bye-bye.